I'm Simon, welcome to Speed Gas. Today, we're gonna to provide you some information about welding gases, cylinders, and the gases inside the cylinders to help you understand more about this offer and how you can talk to your customers. The three topics are cylinder sizes, G, E, D, and C, the gases inside the cylinders, and what the colors on the cylinders mean. So firstly, cylinder sizes. So you can see superimposed on the cylinders are the labels G, E, D and the C size. And these are common in the Australian industrial gas market. The valves are also common across all the cylinder sizes. So if you have a G size pure argon cylinder or a C size pure argon cylinder, the valve is the same. And that's the same across nitrogen and oxygen as well. Now secondly, the colour of the cylinder. The colour of the cylinder also helps you understand what gas is inside the cylinder. So for example, the G-size cylinder on my right here, it's got argon in it. And the fact that it's one color tells you that there's one gas inside there. In this case, this peacock blue cylinder is pure argon. There's no mixed gas in there, one gas. The next size, the E-size, already you can see it's got two colors. So we've got the peacock blue of the argon and we've got a cream top, which tells you there's another gas in there. So two gases, two colors, that's what's inside the cylinder. So CO2 and argon. The next size down is the D size. Now in the market, we refer to this as D to the knee. So when we're trying to explain to a customer about the cylinder size, the letter is important, but it's also D to the knee, E to the waist, and G to the shoulder. This oxygen cylinder here is all black. Black says it's industrial oxygen. Oxygen has a type 10 valve, just the same as argon, type 10, and just the same as pure argon, type 10. Finally, the C size. This is a small cylinder, which is commonly used for home hobbyists. Um, it only has a small volume in it. But again, you can see one color on the nitrogen cylinder, this pewter gray, means one gas. One color on the C size argon, one color, one gas. Okay, the final topic to touch on today is the gas inside the cylinders. What is it used for? So in this G-size cylinder, we know it's all argon. We know it's pure argon. Argon is a shielding gas. A shielding gas protects your molten whirlpool from contaminants getting inside. Those contaminants can be atmospheric gases such as air and moisture. And if they get into your whirlpool, they can weaken the whirlpool and cause other issues with the weld. The E-size cylinder in front of me has the shielding gas, argon, but it also has other gases inside. The common gases used are oxygen and CO2. Oxygen and CO2 are reactive gases, but in conjunction with argon, they can help with arc stability, they can help with heat transfer, but also penetration into the weld. The D-size cylinder has oxygen in it, we know that because it's black. Oxygen is used for many applications. Commonly in welding, it's used with acetylene for cutting, heating and brazing. Nitrogen is this little grey pewter cylinder and it's used in many industries um, across HVAC, food and wine, but blanketing and purging and many, many other, uh, other applications. I hope this information has been informative. Um, if you have any queries or questions, please don't hesitate to call us on 02 9907 7999 or visit us at www.speedgas.com.au. Thank you.